on Eli Dunn. Eli likes bow hunting and fishing. That's a pretty intense hobby right yeah. there. Got on the camo hoodie here. Yep. <laughs> Little mossy oak bottomland original. I like to hunt too, so I kind okay. of like those kind of things. <laughs> I, uh, that is something I know absolutely nothing that's, about. That's kind of an OG camo pattern. That's gotcha. The, that's what the real guys would have. And his opponent, Ben Clark. First out of the blue corner, 21 year old blue belt. Standing six foot tall, weighing at 219 pounds. Fighting out of Eco Submission Grappling, Conway, Arkansas, Eli Dunn. <laughs> and his opponent in the red corner, 24 year old purple belt. Standing six foot two inches tall, weighing at 191 pounds. Fighting out of Pyramid Jiu Jitsu, Arlington, Tennessee, Ben Clark. Ben sitting immediately to guard. Good job ripping the arm up here. Looking for that straight arm lock. He's got his, mm -hmm. getting, Eli's doing a good job getting his thumb turned out of there. Ben keeps coming back to that straight arm bar attempt, but you know he's pretty wise to it. Yeah, and Eli's got a pretty good size advantage in this matchup too, which is going to make that arm bar harder to hit. Yeah, for sure. The good thing is you can use it to threaten a lot of times though and then turn it into something else. True. Eli wasn't really letting that happen too much, though. Yeah. And I tell you, this body lock passing like has become such a thing now. And it's right there it is. I mean, it's super impressive. And, and yep. for bigger guys like that, man, they can hit that body lock. I was going to say, day. bigger guys typically prefer to pressure pass, so it's if, one that works well. If you don't get on their head and get their head separated and off of you quickly, they pass easily with that. He's seeing people reach with their hand and their fingers splayed out. And you gotta be real careful because any leverage or momentum is gonna do nasty things for those fingers. Yeah. Any good cross face here by Eli. Yeah, boy, that's. It's a lot of pressure. That's a lot. You can see, and he's actually <laughs> turning away from it. That's how much pressure it is. A good cross face will take the spine completely out of alignment, which makes any attempts at escaping that side mount yeah, extremely takes, difficult. Takes that whole other side of your body out of play. Trying to fight back for the underhook here. Good lift. Good job wrestling up. Nice job, Eli, getting around to the back. Now that Eli's kind of established a good position, he's not looking to let that go. Good job working the tilt, but needs to get that hook in before he really tries to tilt. Yeah, needs better control for sure there. Going forward again. The coaches are telling him to threaten the choke and he can get the hooks in. Switching mm -hmm. to the arm now, going to try to climb up the mount. Good job inverting there.
Halfway point, all three judges see it for Eli. Halfway point, Eli. Ben's been very reactive. Eli's been kind of pushing the pace. Definitely. And it can be hard to come back from that when you're dealing with somebody that comes out right out of the gate and just immediately starts aggressively implementing a game plan. It can be difficult to, to turn it back. Yeah, and that 20 to 30 pounds is no joke either. No, it's you got not. got somebody coming out on the offensive like that that's got that kind of weight advantage. It can make it very difficult to rebound. Got to watch passing with that head on the far side like that. The Kimura could be there. Yeah, I was going to say that arm's... That doesn't seem. Yeah, I think Ben right now is trying to figure out how to get this guy off of him. Yeah. <laughs> nice job trying to frame up there. That Good job. Good. But oh, now we get back to. Awfully heavy. I think Ben would have a little bit more success if he was framing with his elbow instead of his hand. But oh, here we go, Eli working towards the back again. Somebody turn the lights on. Ben's Clark, ben Clark's coach is imploring him to go yeah, and that and, there's and no see, time. Look, ben did a good job there getting on that head. He did, but Eli's just fast. staying he's staying heavy. He's doing a great job following his coach's instructions, too. Looking for that arm triangle. Straight from Mount. There's a lot I've seen of seen a lot of there. these attempts today. That's tight though. Yeah. Ben's trying to pull it down to make some space. Good job getting his arm back to the other side of his head. Working back for the arm triangle again. Good stopping point. Not much time left in this match either. Uh. And that will do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got to go to the judges' scorecard. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges scored for blue. And your winner out of the blue corner, Eli Dunn.